Welcome. In this video, we're going to review the DKA and HHS electronic order sets in Meditech Expands. There are two sets available for adult DKA management. This includes the DKA HHS set, as well as a DKA IV fluids module. These sets are designed to be used together, allowing the provider greater flexibility to address fluid concerns as they arise. The DKA IV fluid module will be automatically linked as a suggested set each time the primary DKA and HHS order set is used. The DKA HHS order set is the primary DKA management order set containing patient care, respiratory, laboratory, and medication imaging orderables. Initial fluid boluses and medication orderables, including insulin, are to be ordered within the main DKA and HHS order set. The DKA IV fluid module contains IV fluid options, including additional boluses and maintenance fluid selections. There are no pre-selected orders within this module, allowing it to be used at any time in the process without duplicating previous patient care or lab orderables. When you pull up the order set, there are a number of pre-selected orders for this set. You may clear these selections if you wish by using the deselect button. A quick reference link to the 2018 Clinical Practice Guidelines and Overview of Treatment Targets can be found in the Reminder section. The order set has a automatic pre-checked link to the clinical protocol for DKA and HHS. This selection of the clinical protocol enables the nursing staff to carry out the appropriate patient care activities as outlined within the protocol. This is the nursing protocol. This will provide direction in terms of vitals and monitoring, ongoing assessment of the patient, watching for important signs such as cerebral edema, potassium replacement orders, as well as the insulin titration tables. These will be highlighted when we show you the insulin medication orderables in the order set. The initial IV fluid selection has multiple options available according to the diagnosis and the severity. There's IV fluid solutions for HHS replacement, for DKA initial therapy replacement, and for DKA in mild to moderate deficit versus a DKA in a severe deficit. When selecting an IV order for HHS fluid replacement, the provider must specify the initial rate. When selecting an IV bolus order for DKA, infusion instructions are indicated within the label comments. For example, for the IV 1 liter bolus of normal saline, the instruction notes to infuse it over 60 minutes. IV maintenance fluids for DKA management can be selected at any time using the DKA IV fluid module. This module can be located at the end of the current DKA and HHS order set, or it can be opened separately using the search function. Reminders are provided regarding the maintenance IV fluid selection as categorized into these three sections, assessing the sodium and osmolality, assessing the potassium, and assessing the glucose. A quick reference link to the 2018 Clinical Practice Guidelines is also available within the module. Label comments containing additional instructions consistent with the clinical nursing protocol are included with the order. These may also be viewed by selecting the green eye button. When selecting the appropriate IV fluid, 
the provider must also specify the rate. Medication orders. An order for PRM potassium chloride bolus is pre-selected within the set. Additional label comments can be viewed by selecting the green eye button in terms of the instructions that the nurses will be given for how to administer the potassium. An order for PRN sodium bicarbonate bolus can be optional order upon provider's discretion. For insulin loading, two weight-based insulin loading dose options are available, 0 0.05 units per kilogram loading dose and 0.1 unit per kilogram loading dose. Dose instructions and label comments are viewed by selecting the green eye button. There are two pre-selected orders for continuous infusion of insulins. Titration A is an initial infusion of insulin and titration B, which follows that, is only when certain targets are met. Titration A, by clicking on the protocol, you can see the detailed protocol for the titration A of the initial infusion of regular insulin. For the second insulin infusion, or titration B, the order for insulin in titration B takes effect when the capillary blood glucose is less than or equal to 10, as indicated within the protocol. Reminder that both insulin infusion titrations A and titration B are pre-selected and are designed to be ordered together within the DKA clinical protocol. Thank you for watching.